This is our patient, Summer. She is two years old and has a diagnosis of schizencephaly. This diagnosis is fairly rare and presents very similar to cerebral palsy. As you can see, she is a consistent toe walker and exhibits a lot of plantar flexion and extension tone, both in her lower and upper extremities. As soon as she begins to ambulate or move, her extension tone becomes accentuated and makes it difficult for her to even control her upper extremities. She does have passive range and her mom can actually get her to stand flat-footed as you can see here. When she does that, however, her feet are in moderate amount of pronation. We had tried some different braces in the past with Summer and had concluded that going with a softy DAFO 3 would be the best solution for her in controlling her strong plantar flexion. With this type of device, we were able to incorporate a heel control pad to keep the heel seated and prevent the excessive plantar flexion. Here's Summer walking with the braces on the Softy 3, and you can tell that her feet are much better controlled. She's walking with a much flatter foot gait. She still needs maximum assist for ambulation, and due to the schizencephaly, she walks with a lot of extension tone, even in the upper extremities. Here in the split view, you can see the improved difference between her ambulating without the orthoses and with the braces. The foot is controlled in a nice position, and her feet stay down. So here Summer is at age seven. She's still not an independent ambulator. She does walk with handheld assist. Her feet are closer to the ground. She still has some inconsistent toe walking, and she exhibits a lot more pronation now that she's gotten a little older and a little heavier. Her left side is a little higher tone than her right, but as you can see that the upper extremities are still quite involved. In passively ranging her, her extension tone is difficult to break, but once her knee is flexed, we can actually get a, normally about five to eight degrees of dorsiflexion. She's got good hind foot range of motion. Her left foot, on the other hand, is much tighter. She has a lot more extension tone. It's very difficult to break that tone, even though she's being stretched on a regular basis by her mom. Summer has been fit now with a DAFO 2 plantar flexion block to prevent the excessive toe walking. We have incorporated a heel control pad to prevent that foot from also elevating in her brace. As you can see, that left side is challenging to seat in the back of the orthosis because of the excessive extensor tone. And it takes quite a bit of effort to make sure that she is well seated. And we want to make sure that her heel is down when the orthosis is tightened up. Here again, you can see Summer walking with the braces, and she is much more stable now with the bilateral DAFO number twos. She actually walks with a very flat-footed gait, very symmetrical. Summer is able to advance her legs forward much more easily now that she's a little older, and it takes a lot less effort in getting her to ambulate. She is more relaxed even in the upper extremities just by having her feet controlled in a better alignment.